In this way, I'm going to go over the Pool RX. And Pool RX does two simple things it eliminates all algae and it reduces your chemical usage. An active ingredient in Pool RX is copper sulfate cleated. And Pool RX comes with the same ingredients, but it just comes in different sizes for ease of use. And for example, this pool here is about 25,000 gallons, so you'd use the black Pool RX. And this will contain enough ingredient for a pool that's 20 to 30,000 gallons. And since this pool here is 18,000 gallons, I would use the blue version of the Pool RX. And it's very easy to calculate how much Pool RX to use if you have a very large pool. If your pool is 40,000 gallons, you just use two of the blue units. If you have a spa 100 to 400 gallons, you can go ahead and use the spa unit. And if you have a Sundance Spa, Pool RX makes a special unit for your spa. And if you're using Pool RX and you have a salt water generator, this is a great way to extend the life of the salt cell. With Pool RX, you can lower the output of the salt system, thereby extending the life. And if you use three inch tablets in your pool, using Pool RX will allow you to use less tablets, which in turn will keep the conditioner level a lot lower in your pool. And if you do a test on your pool and you find that you have metal in your pool, first treat the metal before you use Pool RX. I have several videos on my channel that will detail how to eliminate the metal from your pool. And before you use Pool RX, you want to make sure that your filter is clean. And if you have a D filter or a sand filter, you don't want to backwash the filter for two weeks after inserting the Pool RX. And I'm going to go ahead and use the Pool RX over here at this account. The customer prefers me to keep the chlorine level low. She's really sensitive to the chlorine level. Unfortunately, with such a low level of chlorine that I keep in here, algae tends to grow. So before you add any chemical to your pool, you want to make sure you test the pool and make sure the water is balanced. So you want to use a good tester to get a good accurate reading of your pool water. I'm using the Lamont WaterLink Spin Touch. Here's the test results for this pool. You can see I keep the free chlorine low here. pH is within range. Alkalinity is a little bit high. The conditioner is a little bit low. And there's really no metals in this pool. So this particular pool, the chemistry is ideal for the Pool RX. And if the chemistry looks good, simply take your skimmer lid off and put the Pool RX into your skimmer basket. And the Pool RX will last up to six months in your pool. So pretty much for the whole pool season. If you notice algae or if you notice you need to add more chlorine to your pool and the Pool RX is wearing out, you can replace it or add a booster. Instead of replacing it, if your swim season is very long, you can add the booster to it. That will extend the life of the Pool RX unit. And for optimal effectiveness, for the most flow, you want to put the Pool RX directly into your pump basket. And after you insert the Pool RX, you want to run your pool for three to four hours. That's a quick look at using Pool RX in your pool. It's an effective way to eliminate algae all season long. It's a great way to reduce the chlorine usage of your pool.